Morning. Morning, Jess. Hey, did you hear what the new night auditor did last night? No. What happened? He's in a meeting with the general manager now. Listen. Okay. Okay, so let's let's start from the beginning. The guest comes in last night and he had a reservation accidentally booked for eight seven rather than seven eight. So essentially he is here a month early and we have no rooms. Yes, exactly. And I looked it up online. I called a bunch of hotels in the area and no one had any availability. So he had nowhere else to go. Right, so your solution was to get a cot, a rollaway bed, and allow him to sleep on it in the gym. She what? Mm -hmm. I, I couldn't just kick him out onto the street. I mean, it's it's freezing outside. The, the issues I have with this, number one, you did not secure any information on this person. You didn't take a copy of his photo ID. You didn't get a credit card on file. Well, he was sleeping in a gym, so I, I couldn't charge it like it was a regular room. And, and after just shoving a cot in there, it felt really awkward to ask for any payment at all. I do understand the awkwardness of that situation, but as he disappeared before any of the rest of us got in, we have no clue who this person was. So we, we don't know who you allowed to sleep in the hotel gym. Um, also, what would you have done if a guest of the hotel had come down and tried to use the gym? Well, I put an out of service sign on the gym door so no one would just walk in and see him sleeping there. Um, and if someone did complain, then I, I, I thought I'd just figure it out. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'm glad, I'm glad that didn't happen, but I, I suppose my, my main concern is the fact that the key you gave him to access the gym was, was a hotel master key. So essentially, you gave a stranger complete access to not only the guest rooms, but the employee only areas of the hotel. Well, well, I didn't tell him it was a master key. I, I told him that the key only worked for the gym, so he didn't know. Uh-huh, but um, you, you do see how that is a major safety concern, right? Uh, and, and I'm really sorry. It was the best solution I could come up with and, and it was already past midnight, so I didn't want to call and wake you up or... Call me, uh, please. I, I don't care what time it is. I don't care how long of a day I've had. If you encounter a situation like this again, give me a call, wake me up, and, and allow me to, to determine the solution. Please.